There are many arguments against the death penalty. It's not a deterrent against the crimes that it punishes. Society who use the death penalty don't have lower crime rates than those that do. When a country abolishes the death penalty, they are not plunged into criminal chaos. But even if the death penalty did reduce crime rates, would it then be acceptable? The death penalty targets the economically disadvantaged, those who can't afford good legal counsel, those without a voice in society. There's a saying in the US, capital punishment means that those without the capital get the punishment. Statistics show this is true. But would it be acceptable if people from all sections of society were executed? Does killing a rich man make killing a poor man right? The death penalty is irreversible and results in the death of innocence. When someone is dead, a retrospective pardon is of little use to them or their family. Since 1990, in China, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Nigeria, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Yemen and the USA, there have been 51 recorded executions of child offenders, some as young as 14 years old. But even if no more innocents or children are killed, should we tolerate the death penalty? The death penalty is never acceptable. It abuses two of our most basic human rights. Everyone has the right to live and no one shall be subject to torture. The death penalty obviously kills people, but it also tortures physically by the brutal nature of execution and psychologically by forcing individuals to wait to be killed. They wait, sometimes for decades, while others are led to their deaths. The horror of this waiting is unimaginable. Human rights are thus called because they apply to all human beings. They belong to all of us equally. An attack on these fundamental rights anywhere is an attack against all of us. The right to life is inalienable. It cannot be given and it cannot be taken away. No matter how terrible the crime, in a world full of uncertainty, human rights are a clearly drawn line, a line between what is right and what is wrong, the line between imprisonment and execution. Every individual facing the death penalty is, whatever they stand accused of, still a human being. However much we revile them, however much we are outraged by their actions, However much we want revenge, they are still human beings. They may well have killed and tortured. They've crossed the line. But do we really want to join them? <laughs>